Imagine particles effortlessly slipping through solid walls as if they weren't even there, defying all known rules. This is quantum tunneling, the universe's secret shortcut. In the early days of quantum physics, scientists were puzzled by a mystery. Alpha particles were escaping atomic nuclei far more easily than classical physics allowed. This baffling behavior led pioneers like George Gamow, Ronald Gurney, and Edward Condon to propose a revolutionary idea that particles could tunnel through energy barriers. Their groundbreaking calculations redefined what we thought was possible, showing that what appeared to be an impenetrable wall was actually a leaky boundary at the quantum level. This discovery not only explained radioactive decay in a new light, but also set the stage for a profound shift in our understanding of nature. At the heart of quantum tunneling is the concept of the wave function. In quantum mechanics, particles aren't fixed points. They're represented by a spread out cloud of probabilities. When solving Schrodinger's equation for a barrier, the particle's wave function doesn't abruptly drop to zero, it tapers off exponentially. We've seen that quantum tunneling lets particles slip through barriers, but why does this happen? What's really going on at the fundamental level? To understand this, we need to dive into the strange mathematics of quantum mechanics. At the heart of it all is Schrodinger's equation, the mathematical rulebook that governs the quantum world. Unlike classical physics, which treats particles like tiny billiard balls with fixed positions, quantum mechanics describes them as wave functions, spreading out like ripples in a pond, existing in multiple states at once. Now, when a particle encounters a barrier, you'd expect it to simply stop, right? Not in the quantum world. The wave function doesn't abruptly end at the barrier. It bleeds through it, gradually fading but never fully disappearing. And if even a small part of that wave function extends beyond the barrier, the particle has a chance to appear on the other side. So, what determines if a particle actually tunnels? Two key factors come into play. Barrier thickness. The thicker the barrier, the less likely tunneling becomes. The energy of the particle. Higher energy particles have a better shot at making it through. Imagine rolling a ball up a hill. In classical physics, if it doesn't have enough energy, it would just roll back down. But in the quantum world, the ball has a tiny probability of vanishing and reappearing on the other side. This isn't just a wild theory. It's a direct consequence of the laws governing reality at the smallest scales. But this effect isn't just a tiny quantum oddity. It powers the stars, runs the technology in your pocket, and may one day lead to discoveries that challenge everything we know. So, in the shortest and simplest terms, quantum tunneling happens because particles can act like waves that extend beyond barriers. So, even if they lack the energy to cross them, there's still a chance they can leak through and solidify, appearing on the other side. This means that although a particle may not have enough classical energy to overcome a barrier, there's always a slim chance it can appear on the other side. In essence, it's as if the universe is rolling cosmic dice, and sometimes, particles simply tunnel through the seemingly solid barriers. Quantum tunneling isn't just an abstract theory. It's a force that underpins much of our modern technology. Every time you use your smartphone or computer, electrons are tunneling through energy barriers within semiconductor devices. Without tunneling, the electronics powering our digital lives wouldn't exist. Scanning tunneling microscopes. These ingenious devices leverage tunneling to image surfaces at the atomic level. By measuring the minuscule current that flows as electrons tunnel between a sharp tip and a surface, scientists can map individual atoms. Controlled quantum tunneling is key to how flash memories store data, trapping electrons to maintain the digital information we rely on every day. In nuclear fusion deep within the sun, atomic nuclei overcome repulsive forces through quantum tunneling, allowing fusion to occur and powering the star that sustains life on Earth. And perhaps the most electrifying application lies in quantum computing. By harnessing tunneling phenomena, future devices may break encryption, unlocking AI capabilities beyond our wildest dreams, and revolutionize medicine with unprecedented processing speeds. Now let's venture into the extraordinary. If particles can tunnel through barriers at the quantum scale, 
Could we one day harness the same effect to teleport objects, or even ourselves? Today, the odds of human-scale tunneling are astronomically low. But consider this. Powered flight was once deemed impossible until the Wright brothers turned it into reality. Could we one day engineer a method to bypass physical barriers, opening up entirely new avenues for transportation and communication? The future may hold answers we can't yet fathom. As our understanding of quantum mechanics deepens, what now seems impossible could very well become tomorrow's breakthrough. Quantum tunneling is much more than just a peculiar quirk. It's a hidden engine behind our modern technology and a window into a deeper, more mysterious reality. It challenges our perceptions and continually pushes the limits of what we think is possible. So as we unravel the secrets of the quantum world, one question remains. Are we on the verge of unlocking a force that could rewrite the laws of physics as we know them? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's continue this journey into the unknown together.